Warning: The information provided in this tutorial is solely for is solely for educational purposes. You are responsible for anything that you use this information for, as well as errors that arise from using this information. I shall not be held in any way responsible for how this information may be used. Hi. Recently, I've uh, received a question from someone who's from someone on YouTube. Um, the question is this. I saw your video about the password recovery. It was awesome. So I wonder if you could help me with my question. You see, my father formatted my computer onto Ubuntu Linux last week, but when I want to install software or game onto my computer, it needs a password. But my father won't let me know what the password is. So do you have any way to get the password without resetting it? There's actually no way of getting a password without resetting it. However, that's not to say that there aren't other ways to achieve the effect that you want to have done. What you need to do is convince your father to give you a user account. And to simulate this, I'll create a test account with limit without uh, actually any user set without any permissions. Basically, just set to limited permissions, if you will. So I'm going to show you how to from the how to actually give yourself permissions without logging into his account and without using his password to give you the same permissions that he has. So what? first of all, I'm going to need you to click System and hit Shutdown. Then I need you to hit the Restart button. Your system will now restart. And of course, same as in the password reset video, you'll need to press escape while it's uh, once it gets to this point. Now, go down to recovery mode. Alright, go down to here where it says root, and this will of course drop you to the root prompt. Now, I need you to type in this at uh, this command, vi, oh, lowercase two, v-i-s-u-d-o. Press enter. That'll bring you to this screen. This is actually an old school text editor. Go down to here, you see where it says pound user, pri user privileges specification? Just underneath where it says, um, root, I want you to type in this. And be very careful not to screw this file up. Type in the exact same format you see above. Type in your username, test1, and then do not put any spaces after test1. I want you to use the tab key. Okay, now you should, now it should be directly under the A right above it on the adjacent line. I want you to type in all capital letters, A-L-L -L equals beginning bracket, A-L-L -L end bracket, space, A-L-L. -L. I want you to press Control and O, and I'll ask you what you want to say the file name as. Simply press Enter. Then I want you to press Control and X. Now, type in Reboot in lower case. Press enter and allow your computer to start up normally. Okay, now that your system has booted up, log on as yourself. T-E-S-T-1 -E or whatever your username is. Press enter. Enter in your password and just simply log on as you normally would. Now, right now your account is will be actual, will actually be in a glitched state. And let me demonstrate uh, this shortly.
you don't have the add remove options. That's because you do not have the appropriate um, permissions. However, if you were to go under terminal, the sudo command, which allows you to run commands as root, works. And it simply asks you for the username as it should and allows you to open this up. So I'm just going to just to give you just give you a quick demonstration of the glitched state. Command line and command line uh, entries will work. However, the graphical user interface will still think you have limited permissions. So I want you. So you're gonna have to type in this sud. Oh, sorry, sudo. That's do as super user. And then type in the su command, which stands for switch user. Put in our space and type in root. Press enter. This will bring you to the root prompt. I want you to, which is the same permissions as what we just saw earlier, but we have a graphical user interface to make do it. Type in users dash admin. Press enter. I'll give a bunch of warnings. Don't worry about those warnings. Okay. I want you to select your account right here. Select properties, click on user privileges, and then put your mark where it says administer the system. Okay. Now I want you to click OK. Click close. Close out of that. Now I need you to reboot your system for those changes to take effect because right now the user interface is still in that glitched state. Hit shutdown and hit restart. Okay, log on as you normally would. All right, click on applications, click on add remove. Okay, now during the rehearsal, I actually installed an application with my test user. However, I'm going to uninstall it, but both require the same applications. Now, this is not related to user permissions. This is one or more applications depend on AbbeyWord to remove AbbeyWord, and dependent applications use the Synaptic Package Manager. That has nothing to do with that. So, I'm just, I'm just going to install something else. Do I have Blender installed? Just give me an example. All right. Yeah, you may also want to select from the drop menu here all available applications. Now, of course, you type in search in Blender. It's already installed. Blender is a 3D animation program. But um, I want to put chat mark here. Maybe I should enable that just so yes. And hit apply changes. Hit apply. This time it'll ask you for your password the same way it did before. This time, however, type in your own password because you are now a system administrator and therefore should accept your password. 
I hope this uh, tutorial is useful and I hope I don't have to deal with the wrath of your father when he finds out what you've done. Have a nice day.